Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I've been getting a lot of questions about the wallpaper that I've been using for the past couple of days. It happens to be free from digitalblasphemy.com. And it's just one of those uh, wallpaper sites that I love to frequent. And since NVIDIA recently updated its drivers for Windows Vista, my desktop icons no longer flash as frequently when I set a, a desktop background. So if you haven't updated to the latest NVIDIA drivers for Vista, well, it's certainly recommended considering NVIDIA's track record on Vista has been anything but stellar. Now, I do have a question that was asked from Love and Light Dan. That's what he goes by. He says, I don't have the money to buy Vista, so I was surfing around the web and I found a site that lets you download a transformation pack for XP so you can change it to Vista. I was wondering if this is safe to do. Here's the link to the site, windowsxlive.net. This again is from Dan. It looks like Oatman2 is saying it's junk, but uh, it's also safe. And SB Cool Kid says it's safe. I'm using it now. Dim doesn't like it. Well, sounds like uh, some people are saying they don't like it, but I can tell you that it's safe enough for you to use. Uh, it doesn't come with any spyware or viruses or malware to my knowledge or to anybody's knowledge. I mean, that's why three people have tried it. But in terms of system stability, it may not be the best thing that you'd want to do. I've always had issue with um, alleged interface packs, tweaks, uh, including, and I hate to say it, Stardox, Windows Blinds. Uh, I've always run on XP for maybe a week at max, but then ultimately just get away from it because of so much uh, visual corruption. It just wasn't perfect. And maybe it's gotten better in time, but it seems that every time I would use it, it just didn't seem to be as good or as fast as Windows Classic Mode was in Windows XP, which is the interface that I choose to use if I'm inside of Windows XP. Now on Vista, um, I'm fine with the arrow experience, and I use the word fine very loosely. I don't think it's the best UI out there, but certainly the desktop window manager on Vista is faster and more responsive than the one on XP. So, it, 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 Microsoft changed, if I can get this out, Microsoft changed a few things in the way elements on the desktop were rendered and displayed. So in Vista, classic mode uh, actually runs slower, has uh, no acceleration uh, compared to the arrow experience or the default uh, experience that you might have in the higher priced versions of Windows Vista. Uh, that would be, you know, the full transparency or partial transparency of title bars and all that fun animation stuff. Um, the uh, on the other hand, in Windows XP, you're better off running in classic mode and not in the default Luna experience that some people have equated to a Fisher Price or very toy-like interface. It was the worst thing ever unleashed uh, upon the Windows community, and the reason why it was unleashed, they were originally going down a different path with the UI, and it was changed at the last minute uh, because an executive thought, well, the UI needs to be radically different, uh, otherwise people aren't going to upgrade. Well, it was radically different, and it was the god-awful worst UI uh, I'd ever seen. And again, Windows XP, the Luna experience, um, Linux looks amazing in terms of its Windows default Windows inter interface compared to uh, Windows XP. And of course, it depends on which uh, theme that you happen to be using on your desktop inside of Linux, whether it's GNOME or KDE or you know any other desktop manager, or X Windows. Um, you know, this t transformation pack, you can try it. If you don't like it, you can always uninstall it. Uh, I Again, I'd be very careful about doing anything like that because uh, is it really worth doing? I mean, if you want your interface to look different, I'd steer you more towards uh, window blinds, which isn't perfect, uh, than I would over the Vista transformation pack. Windows Media UI always looked awesome to me. Uh, I, I would That's another debate altogether. Those transformation packs don't uninstall great. Well, grammar mistakes aside, uh, Oatman, I would agree with you. Uh, sometimes in uninstalling these system tweaks um, is impossible. It's just bad software, bad design. Um, is it worth it for you to use? Sure, if you want to. Uh, does it come with my recommendation? No, not necessarily. Uh, if you want a Windows Vista looking experience, the best you can do is get Windows Vista. I mean, that's the 
easiest way to get it. Uh, using these free utilities isn't necessarily the best bet. Everybody's got a different opinion, and of course, if you've got a favorite system tweaker, UI changer, software thing that you'd like to recommend, by all means, suggest away. We're looking for any kind of improvements we might be able to make to Windows or well, any operating system for that matter without necessarily compromising it in the process. Leave a comment, remark, or whatnot, and of course you can swing by the chat room and participate in our ongoing chat, which waxes and wanes throughout the day and night. We're always here at live.perillo.com.